Good morning, fam. Or should I just say morning, fam? Because it has been a freaking morning. First of all, I get home from the gym. If you're not from New York, we have alternate side parking. I don't know if this is a thing everywhere. But like in my neighborhood, there are two sides, right? Like one side is, let's say, Tuesday, Friday. The other side is Monday and Thursday. So today is Friday. Therefore, I had to find parking. On the Monday... Sorry, I'm ranting from get. But like I just need to get this off my chest. I had to find a side... Today's Friday, so I had to find parking on the Monday, Thursday side, and I did, and I pull up in front of the lady that's about to pull out, and what does the person behind me do? The little B-I-T-C-H? She cuts in. She steals my parking spot. I cannot begin to stress how bad of a karma that is. In New York, to steal somebody's parking spot from under them, babes, just start, light up the candles, like start praying. And I rolled down my window and I was like, good luck with your karma. And I kept going and I parked somewhere else. I parked on the Friday side, had to rush, get ready. If I look like a freaking... (sighs) Anyway, I had to rush because I had to work before getting to the thrift store, which is what we're doing today. (laughs) If you're new here, my channel is all about thrifting, secondhand shopping, and having fun with your fashion, which is clearly what I'm doing given that it's... 91 degrees at 10 in the morning and so yeah we're just tying scarves all over ourselves these days but yes today we are thrifting because next week i am going to chicago for a Lollapalooza, and i want to find really cool dope things to bring with me i also have other things that i have to thrift for projects really exciting project i'm doing with youtube um some things for the home that i'm looking for specifically like a vintage tray for my perfumes um i'm looking for cool except i'm looking for so many things so it's kind of like an all over the place but with a big focus on just festival styling for my last I think festival of the year at this point I'm a festival girly like I went to Coachella I'm, I went to Gut Ball and now I'm going to Lollapalooza <laughs> gotta live it up I guess but um yeah so that's the big focus for today the thrift store just opened about 30 minutes ago it's already packed so let's see what we can find and let's get off to a better f- oh and this is the other thing then I'm driving over here listening to Harry's uh, house or whatever the album is called Harry Styles latest and then, you know, the last song is very emotional. You were the love of my life. And then I was in a mood and I was like, oh, let's play some, you know, like Cortavenas, Coldplay. What was that for? I have been crying for the last like five minutes. So <laughs> guys, girls, days and thems, I am all over the place today, but here we go. Let's go thrifting. <laughs> start in accessories. Oh, sidetracked by this baby. I don't need it, but it's really cool. I'm not exactly sure how, but this is really cool. Somehow. Down two slips. This one, which is kind of just like a basic. And then this one, which I think would be really fun for the festival. It's giving like 13 going on 30 somehow. I'm a suit, but I have way too many cream suits at this point. That's really good. And that's what we were I'm gonna put it in a cup now. Sidetrack again in the suits, and y'all, you're not ready. First of all. This little short sleeve moment. My size. So cool. Look at the skirt. And finally. Are you kidding me? Okay, we are thrifting completely out of order today. Just I had to go to the bathroom, saw some home things. Let me show you. First of all, this cute little gold pot. Little lampshade. So freaking cute. Also, these go for a bunch of, like, they're expensive online. So this was four bucks. Now we're in pants, and I found these gold ones. They're faux leather BDG. I have to, like, kind of see if they're going to fit, and then 
go from there because they're not on sale. These are kind of cool. They're J. Crew. They're only six bucks and they're kind of like pajama y. Could be fun even to travel in. I love finding tops like this. I think they're the coolest and I always want to take them home, but I know that as soon as they're home, I'm never gonna wear them. This is a good one. This could have been cool, but it's so freaking hot that I don't. I can't even think about styling this right now. So I'm gonna pass on it. I don't know if I like this. Will I wear it? Probably not. I absolutely love thrift store music. Okay, a few more tops I picked up. Loving the color on this. Um, now finding a lot for the festival, but like a lot of cool things. Sarah top, which is just like a linen top. Really good for like beach days, summer. And then I kind of like this. Maybe for a festival, I'm not sure. It's safe to say we found a fair amount of things. Let's try it. so much oh okay um i can't even put my back to my own seat i'm concerned i'm concerned this is i'm burning um okay whoa whoa <laughs> whoa Y'all, I don't know who, one of my mutuals on TikTok posted about going to the thrift store on a Friday because it's the day before, you know, the weekend rush and everything and that's usually when they put the best stuff out. I'm personally of the belief that if you go to the thrift store as soon as it opens, you're bound to have good luck. I don't know if it was a combination of the two or what, but holy crap, we found so much. I couldn't even film trying everything on because it was just impossible. There's so much. My camera would have probably ran out of battery but we found a lot and quite a few things for festivals so I'm really excited I have one more thrift store that I want to check out before I head home and if I find good things I'll do a collective haul if not I'll show you guys what I got from this one first location but I'm really happy I'm really happy with our finds I'm happy with you know what I walked away with so yeah now we're gonna get food and cool off. I'm literally in a sauna. I don't know how I'm talking to you guys right now. But um, yeah, let's do that. This is your PSA to wear sunscreen. Outside is no longer safe. Anyway, heading to the second location, y'all. Let's see what we find. the AC on in this part of the thrift store which is a choice but um, I am finding cool things so found this little skirt it's vintage gap and a little tutu skirt which is immediate yes oh I also found this rain jacket I'm not sure about but I'm gonna try it on and see. It'd be more of like a fall thing. And then I also picked up this bag. It's a gold bag. It's kind of a shoulder moment. I'm not sure about it, but it's kind of giving for now. And while we're here, I'm gonna try on this hat that I found as well. Scratch what I said about thrift store music. Oh yeah, this is super cute for like 
fall, very like legally blonde like the friends when they show up to court. Going through Intimates, I found this cute robe. I'm not gonna take it, but I wanted to show you guys because you know, I have an obsession. <laughs> you guys. Immediate yes, immediate yes. Cute is this little mini, but look at the tag. Vintage era pastel. My youth. I also found this denim jacket. It's a lead denim jacket. It's a little acid wash. And I love it. It's kind of like a shrunken fit. So I'm gonna try it on and see if it fits. Today's just the day for old, really cool old tags. Look at this old navy one. So dope. I got a blast. It's hot. I gotta go. But I can't stop looking. We found a few things. I'll show you guys after. Very cool, very 70s, kind of like woodstocky, but I know myself and I won't get a lot of use in my closet, so I'm leaving it. Really cool props today. loops of everything I'm leaving behind. This I love, I just don't see myself styling it. This I don't see myself wearing too often. Size issue, size issue unfortunately, size issue. Out of season, out of season, didn't like the fit, didn't like the fit. And this is my going ahead. All right guys, we did it. We did the second location. It was successful, we found so many goodies. Some for festivals, some for just life. I even found some off-season stuff that I couldn't pass up. Some essentials, some denim jack, like so many really good pieces. I needed a good thrift day like today. I hadn't had one of those in a minute, which is always discouraging, but um, yeah, New Jersey showed out. So I'm gonna head home now because it's way too hot to be anywhere else. And I'm gonna check in at home with a little haul for you guys. Fam, we are back home and I am giving you guys a quick haul. Well, it might be a long haul because I found a lot of all the things that I brought home from our thrift trip in New Jersey. I think I'm just gonna start pulling things out and showing you guys no rhyme or reason and just get through it. Okay, so the first thing I picked up and brought home was this jacket. It was in the robes department, which I found interesting, but it's definitely a coat jacket situation. It could also be a dress if buttoned up and belted. Um, I love the print. I love the structure of it. It's kind of like a hound's tooth with a velvet collar detail and sleeve detail and button detail, all the details. This is definitely a, a fall piece, but I could not pass it up and it's $6. It was $6. Next up, we have this little jacket, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of jackets. I just love the easy layer aspect of it. It's green, it's beautiful. It has kind of like a nautical theme with the navy stripes. I guess they're kind of, well, actually they're black stripes, but you know, we're very much into the the nautical of it all. I'm literally traveling through clothes at this point, you guys, because we're not, we're not making it to Europe. All the girlies are out there, I am not. So <laughs> we're traveling through the wardrobes. But yeah, this was a easy piece for me because I know I can layer it. I know it can elevate a simple outfit, so it's like easy to grab and go. And this was $5. Love that color. And I have a pretty, I, most of my jackets at this point are kind of like in the blue department. And so I'm trying to like mix it up a little bit with different colors as well. I picked up these two dresses. One was a slip, one was not, uh, that are likely going to come with me to the festival. This one's originally ASOS, but it's in really good condition. And ASOS stuff holds up pretty well usually, so I don't mind thrifting it or shopping it. But um, this dress is just super fun. I love the colors, I love the stripes. I love um, the shape of it, how it fit me. I'll probably use this for like a daytime event if we have any, not the actual festival, but just like fun little piece to bring along with me for $8. And this slip is definitely gonna be like a festival moment for me. Again, it's giving like 13 going on 30, maybe I'll do a scene, like a recreation reel or TikTok. Uh, with it, but it was so pretty and the colors are just gorgeous. I don't know that it's vintage to be honest. It's a brand called Vassaret, Vassaret. And 
yeah, I it fit perfectly. It's comfortable. It's a little see-through, so I'm going to have to figure out undergarments. But I just thought it could be really, really cool for the festival and easy breezy. I don't want to be uncomfortable while I'm there. So I brought this home for $6. I also picked up this Nike jacket, which I couldn't believe uh, for the price. I paid $8 for this. It's definitely like vintage Nike. I mean, look at the tag, if you can. And look at just like the overall shape of it, like the, the feel, the material, it's giving 80s for a fact. And I, yeah, I couldn't pass it up, couldn't leave it behind. It's a cool jacket to layer with, cooler summer nights hopefully coming soon. And yeah. It was just like an easy piece. I might bring this one with me, might not, haven't decided. I seriously need to start backing, by the way. I have not started a single thing, and I leave in less than two days. Another festival piece was this mesh baby. I mean, it's just, I had to. It's a layering piece, it's a top on its own, it's fun, it's easy, breezy, breathable. It was $6, so kind of pricey for what it is but it is a bodysuit I'm probably not gonna do all that I'm just gonna wear it as a top I even thought about cropping it but I'm not sure I'm not sure how I'm gonna wear it yet so I haven't chopped it okay this next piece is actually really cool it's a little cardigan moment a short sleeve cardigan moment but I picked it up because the print or the texture drew me in and then I saw the tag and I was like excuse me it's Jean Paul Gaultier, so that was a cool find for eight dollars. And I just know that this is gonna be super fun for now for summer. Like again, an easy layering piece for an outfit that is just giving like too plain Jane, um, or even as a top. I could probably like button two buttons and make this a top. And again, the brand like what for eight? Yes, this was a yes. Also picked up this green top, which was originally Sara, still with tags. It's a linen top. I saw a TikTok about like which materials you should buy from which like traditional shops that are worth it. And linen was one for Zara that the girlies <laughs> swear by. So when I saw this, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Uh, get it thrifted. This was $10 and I just love the easiness of it. The shape It's giving like beach day cover up situation. So had to bring this baby home. Now we get into my more interesting purchases. So this was, uh, this is something I found in the dresses and I would wear it as a dress, but it could also be just like a really long blazer robe moment. It's this red double breasted, like whatever I just described, dress slash robe slash jacket. It goes all the way down to my ankle, so I love that about it. I can see myself wearing this with like long boots underneath in the fall and winter, and it fit really, really nicely. The shoulder pads are super exaggerated, so I love this. I couldn't leave it. Even though it was $12.99, I had to bring it home. The brand is originally Danny and Nicole, and yeah, this is gonna be a really, really dope piece. I don't have anything like it in my wardrobe currently. By the way, if you guys want to see me styling some of these pieces, I am doing, I think I've mentioned it before, I do thrift versus style, styled on my Instagram and TikTok um, almost, yeah, every week, at least once a week, where I pick like three pieces from my hauls and show you guys how I would sell them. So if you're interested in seeing more styling videos and how I would wear these pieces, make sure you check out my Instagram or TikTok. Both, really, actually. <laughs> Go to both. Okay. I also picked up this pinstripe-ish blazer. It's originally Jones, New York. It's oversized. It's kind of like uh, padded shoulders, deconstructed. I love that the uh, pinstripes are really visible because in the past, all the pinstripe, like navy pinstripe blazers I find are very like thin lines. You can really see the pinstripes in like, you know, unless you're like close close enough so I had to pick this one up it was super fun it's actually a set it comes with a skirt but I was interested in the blazer for ten dollars here's the skirt I always wonder what to do with these skirts that I don't want to wear like I don't want to invest in like cropping every single one of them because again they're probably not gonna get that much wear but like I also feel bad just kind of tossing them if you guys have any cool ideas or you know thoughts on what to do with these like set skirts that you're not really gonna wear drop them in the comments thank you very much okay i found this kind of slip-ish dress it's a 
lace bodycon dress and it fits me like a very tight slip and the reason why I wanted something like this is to layer under blazers or something a little bit more oversized for like a night out I loved 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 how this fit me in the store and so I brought it home for eight dollars it's originally by Mania Bianca Bianca Nero and it's just gonna be a really easy like going out with my friends dress I've been going out a lot more in the summer obviously so yeah this is really cute I had to pick up the J. Crew pants. I mean, they fit a little snug, which I was a little bummed about. I did want them to be a little looser than they actually fit, but they were just too good. For a J. Crew, they are kind of like this animal print, funky, it's giving farm real even a little bit, uh, pants. And because I've been traveling a lot more, I always look for pants like this or comfortable clothes like this to travel in that looks kind of fun and put together, but like still comfortable. So yeah, this was a no brainer. And these were six dollars. Good job on these, J. Crew. Two thumbs up. All right, hear me out on this one, okay? When I first picked this up, I was like, ah, uh, it's giving junior prom. But then I was like, wait, this is a whole like really dope two too mini dress, tall mini dress, which these go for a lot. Like I've bought new and they are quite expensive so I was like if I could figure out a way to get rid of these like embroidery bedazzled moments that it has throughout it has like three of them this could be a moment and then I tried it on and it fit perfectly and then I pictured myself with like a high top bun this heels and like <laughs> going to the opera or something you guys know that my scenarios in my brain when I buy things are always extra I started inspecting it closely and I noticed that yeah this is all it's like literally a patch sewn on and I could just cut it out and not harm the dress so I bought it for $10 I think this was yeah it was a yellow tag which was half off this was 10 bucks I mean you guys just have to see this on it's crazy I didn't take a picture in the store because I know I didn't like the look of it with this but I'm definitely gonna sell this for Instagram. Okay, last few things for that first location. I bought this blue set. You guys saw in the beginning, I, I found so many suits and sets, but I settled with just one because I didn't want to be excessive. Actually, technically two with the pinstripe, but like, again, I'm only using the blazer there. But this one was too good to pass up. I mean, the color, it's silky, it's blue, it's easy breezy. It was $6.50. And it's a pants and a jacket, short sleeve jacket moment, which is perfect for summer. So I had to pick this up. I couldn't leave it behind. It's by Sal & Co Collective originally, and I can't wait to sell this. I just need the weather to like calm down, maybe like two degrees, if not 10, if not 15, I'll take 15. So I can start wearing like clothes like this again and not melting. I figured out a way to put an AC up here, so we're good again. Okay, and the last piece that I brought home, which almost didn't make it because in most of stores, if a tag is off, they won't sell it to you because people, you know, switch tags. And as I was literally walking up to the register, the tag on this one fell. And they're not, they're not, even if they see it happening, they're not allowed to sell it to you. So the lady, it's like pretty on me. She's like, okay, I, I literally saw it happening. I'll sell it to you. And so I brought it home. It was this kind of like hawaiian print red top short sleeve and i'm thinking i'm gonna bring this to the festival again for like daytime activities fun little outfit layering piece and the tag fell so i can't tell you guys the price it was around four or five bucks so it wasn't too much and i loved it i don't have anything like it and it's perfect for summer i have a thing where i'm not ready to like start shopping i know i've picked up fall things here and there but not into like i'm not intentionally seeking fall pieces just yet because I'm triggered that like the internet's talking about Halloween and like Christmas and it's July. I get it, we're all, we live in this like high speed world, but like can we enjoy, can we enjoy the present for a minute? So, so shopping summer like it's nobody's business. Okay, then a few accessories that I picked up at this first location. I bought this fanny pack, this green fanny pack or belt bag, whoops, sorry my British peeps. It's easy. <laughs> it's festival friendly and I had to bring it home. I love that it's a little neon. It was two bucks. And then I did bring this uh, coin purse home because I usually walk around, like I when I'm outside, I have a pouch with like 
my essentials like a lip gloss, my lipstick, my headphones, things like that. So I brought this one home. Uh, oh, and it's falling apart. So this is probably gonna be a, the replacement when that one inevitably pieces out. And this was $2 as well. And then I bought two pairs of sunglasses at this first location. The first, they're $6 each, are these very like Y2K fashion girly silver pair, which I'm definitely planning on bringing to the festival because if there's an opportunity or a time to step outside of your comfort zone, that is a music festival. And these are a little bit outside of my comfort zone. They're not what I usually go for, but I just thought, you know what? Why not have a little fun? So these are for that. I'm going to put together probably, I still have to put together outfits, but like I'm picturing kind of like a, yeah, like a Y2K kind of futuristic, a little edgy moment. And then these, I also brought home these grandpa aviator uh, type of sunglasses. Wow, lost my words there for a second. It even has the little strap in the back because they're a little like the legs are out a little bit. They're kind of like over extended, uh, which I could probably fix honestly, but yeah, these are cute too. Okay, on to store number two. Oh, sorry, this hat was the last accessory for store number one. Super cute, reminds me of something I've seen on our girl, our beloved B. Jones style. And I love it for summer. Exactly like this, like off to the side, a fun little auntie moment. This was $4. Okay, the store really did it for me this time. Like, when I first went to this thrift store, it's called American Thrift here in New Jersey, well, in New Jersey or New York. I did not like it. I And this happens to me almost every time I go to a thrift store. I'm like, ew, there's nothing. It's huge. I can't find anything. How is that possible? Even to my mom, I'm like, mm, kind of a flop, but like, whatever. Thank you for the reco. <laughs> um, and then every single time I've gone, I found more and more and more. And yeah, now it's like one of my favorites. I even prefer it to Island Thrift here in Long Island because that one's always picked over. Kicking off strong, I found another tool skirt, y'all. I am on a roll with the tool moments. Manifest and you shall receive. I found this skirt. I have a maxi tool skirt at this point and I have a midi tool skirt, but I don't have like a mini. And this is kind of that. It hits me right above my um, knee, if I remember correctly, right below it. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's not vintage, I don't think but it's really good. It's well made. I love the tool. I love how it flares out. It's a size medium, so I'll probably have to cinch it in a little bit somehow, but that's totally fine. And I paid $7 for it. I picked up this mesh t-shirt, this Champions mesh t-shirt, which I think is the coolest thing. I always am attracted to mesh. I don't know what it is. Like this material and me just hand in hand. Um, I loved it, it's sporty, it's fun, it's easy breezy. I might bring it to uh, Lollapalooza, but I might not, depending on how many outfits I put together. It's not necessarily like giving me my festival style. It's giving festival style, just not my festival style. So I'll probably leave this back, but you guys will see. Follow me on Insta and find out. <laughs> this was $6, so not bad for a champion. I found this Millie dress, which I love the brand Millie. Millie New York. I'm not sure if this is the same. Honestly. It's giving, it's giving, but maybe not. Either way, I didn't buy the dress because I wanted to wear the dress. I bought the dress because of this bow. So I'm planning on removing this bow and then finding a black dress or a piece that I enjoy a little bit more. What bothers me a little bit about the dress is the rouging to the side here. It kind of dates it to me. It's giving like 2010. Um, I'm like, you know. <laughs> we're not there yet we're still in one to get so I want to remove the bow and like put it on something else that I either find or have I haven't looked through my black um, pieces yet but I could not pass it up it's a huge bow I love you I love anything with a huge bow like all the bow dresses with the sleeves the glove like everything so I had to bring this one home for five dollars a bow for five you guys know me and my liquid pieces my metallic pieces found this top I found this top. I found, okay, good. I don't have anything like that. I have something similar, but not quite. This is more like a little bit more see-through. And then this is like straight liquid, what I found. So this is a top and it's silver, it's gorgeous, it's fun. 
I want to wear it um, buttoned all the way down and then with really high-waisted pants to give it more of like a 70s flare and I yeah I couldn't pass it up for eight dollars super cute we're almost at the end y'all I promise <laughs> Found this Lee denim jacket. It's vintage Lee. It's probably 80s, I would say, based on the wash. It's kind of like acid wash. It's very like cropped and fitted. Not in like an uncomfortable way, but like a I don't own anything like it way. So I brought it home for $7. Love, love, love the fit of this. It's very different. I can see myself wearing something like really exaggerated at the bottom, like either a maxi or like palazzo pants or something like that and then this kind of like shrunken denim jacket over it also picked up this blazer which i almost put back honestly because i have quite a few tuxedo blazers and white blazers at this point but when i tried it on it was it was a no-brainer i mean it just the exaggerated like padded shoulders the contrasting sleeve detail and the lapel detail it's beautiful i couldn't pass it up it's definitely giving like drama it's giving evening wear and it was eight dollars so yeah it's missing a button so i have to figure out a button situation but that's easy peasy and yeah this is this is a fun find and now for some accessories and jewelry found quite a few bangles and jewelry pieces that were really fun this kind of like peach acetate number that's I don't know how it, like it's giving wavy it's asymmetrical is that kind of like what i'm going for here you guys read my mind it's asymmetrical it's fun it's funky it was two dollars and fifty cents because it was on sale they have the thrift store that I, the last one has happy hour thrift sales so like from four to eight they'll have like an extra two colors that are on sale so when i got there this color was on sale which was really fun and i also bought this uh cuff which is also acetate and it gives like a ombre kind of like bluish into gray effect. I really loved it, loved the colors and this was $4. I found, I'm just a sucker for gold. Like I'm a sucker for gold necklaces, especially if they're big and chunky like this one and have a fun little detail such as this one. Look at these little fishies, I mean, it's just so 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 fun i could not leave this behind it was five dollars and i paid it happily i definitely love like just layering a bunch of necklaces and having like a longer one like this one so this was a great find for me and then the last piece of jewelry were these bangles they are just like colorful little bangles that i'll probably bring with me to the festival and then we picked up oh shoot i forgot to tell you guys about this t-shirt I just bought a plain white t-shirt. Nothing exciting for $3. I bought the hat that I showed you guys at the store. It was just, it was too fun to pass up. It's Agora, I think this material is called. It's red. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. I can't wait for fall. Let me reward that. I can't, I can't wait to wear this once the fall arrives. Because we are living in the moment. This was $5. No, I lied. It was 50% uh, off at the time. So $2.50 mental math okay last few accessories i bought this scarf which i plan on using as a belt with like a fun either dress or skirt moment to just kind of cinch in even with like a brooch here in the corner kind of like this energy and just brooch it up and make it a fun moment it could also be like a hair scarf or a neck scarf it could be so many things and this was $2.99 and I also bought this plaid scarf it's colorful it's fun it's giving summer it's giving tie my hair back forget about it so this was four dollars as well and the last accessory last and final piece of the haul were these guys which again I'm not necessarily sure they're real but they are sturdy and they have the Ray-Ban uh, sign at the corner there were ten dollars which it warrants the price because they're pretty tattered they're even like chipped here but once i tried them on you guys it was just like it's giving top gun so i could not <laughs> i couldn't pass them up i have to clean them and see what the heck is up but yeah these came home with me Alrighty, that is 
all for today. That is a full haul. Again, if you want to see how I style these pieces, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and TikTok where I style every week the pieces that I'm finding at the thrift store. I'm also on Pinterest and Twitter and Facebook if you want to follow me there as well. Chelsea Sibley on all platforms. And I will see you guys next week. I'm trying to go thrifting in Chicago. If I do, I'll bring you guys along with me. If not, I'll see you next week with a, a different video. Bye, you guys. Love you. See you next week.